At the town of Makuti, situated high on the Zambezi escarpment, you need to fill up your tanks, as there is no petrol or diesel available in Manapul's national park. This is also a good time to do some last minute shopping, or to enjoy an ice cold beer at a hotel. Sixteen kilometer from Akuti, on your way to Zambia, you will reach the National Park Office, situated at Morongora. All visitors to the Zambezi Valley must obtain an entry permit here. You won't be allowed into the reserve without it. Descending the winding pass to the foot of the escarpment, you reach the turn off to Manapuls, 16 km from Morongora, where you obtained your permit. Turn right onto the gravel road. The distance to Nayamepi camp and the reception office is 72 kilometers and could take up to two hours to reach. Although most types of vehicles can negotiate most of the roads in the park, care should be taken, especially at the sandy river crossings. The 220,000 hectare Manapools National Park lies in the north of Zimbabwe, between the Rukumechi and Sapi rivers. The Zambezi River forms the northern boundary and the Zambezi escarpment the southern. Huge herds of elephant and buffalo occur in the park and lion, waterbuck, zebra and impala are plentiful. Nearly 400 species of bird have been recorded in the area. Open in the dry months from May to October, Manapuls is one of the most untamed areas of the country and tourists are still allowed to walk away from his vehicle through tall open forests of mahogany and acacia. Elephant and lion are common residents, so walkers need to be alert. The Zambezi Valley is one of the low-lying areas of the country, with very high temperatures in the summer. The best times to visit are the late winter or spring months, when the temperatures are milder. During the dry winter months, the animals concentrate around the water holes and the banks of the Zambezi. The felt is dry and brown with little or no grass. When the rain comes, normally in early November, the land is suddenly transformed into a green haven. The floodplains become carpeted with lush green grass. The whole area resembles an enormous park. During this time, the large pools along the banks of the river, which gave the area its name, fills up from the heavy rains. <laughs> 